Welcome back. Yes, cardinal is certainly important, but it's also a type of bird. Now, David, um, you know, words get all sorts of appropriate recognition yeah. here on the on the show. But last year we talked about a word of the year. We looked upon it in a way. It was a word that I loved and has since been anointed uh, by the Macquarie Dictionary as the 2010 word of the year. And that word uh, was Google Ganger. And what a beautiful word it is. It is a beautiful word, and it uh, describes or it identifies uh, uh, your namesake, uh, who you discover through cyberspace. Essentially, if you tap your own name in, as I know you uh, do very frequently, uh, up comes all sorts of people who may not be you, but share your name. That person is a Google ganger, uh, modelled on the German idea of doppelganger, which is double goer. But three more on the shortlist, which I, I adore as well. What is screwage? Uh, which, before you yeah, look too pale, is actually uh, modelled off corkage. And it's because most wine bottles these days are screw caps, restaurants are charging screwage, which I always think, <laughs> I think it's very well named. I'm not sure that a restaurant's <laughs> going to be prepared to admit to screwage somehow. <laughs> now, do you cycle? I do, from time to time, yes. And are you a mammal, I wonder? Well, I hope I'm a mammal, warm-blooded, you know, all of that sort of thing. No, it's an acronym, M-A-M-I-L, and it's another one on the short list, and it's middle-aged man in lycra. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to admit to that. No. Not, not a lot of lycra I tend to cycle in, you know, old shorts and a T-shirt. Well, that's, that's good to see. And the third word is presenteeism, which was coined by a Canadian uh, psychologist, Kerry Cooper, who is a, uh, an expert in uh, management models and bullying in the workplace, and presenteeism describes that practice in some workplaces where the work ethic is so strong that it's actually hostile towards sick leave. So it's about workers who turn up despite being very poorly and uh, their work rate is well below efficiency. So it's essentially about turning up when you'd be better off turning in. <laughs> it's reverse absenteeism. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, David. Good words. Let's have a look at some good scores. And Bonnie and Colin are absolutely neck and neck on 23 all as we go into our next letters game. And uh, Bonnie, what would you like? Um, can we start with a consonant, please? Thanks, Bonnie. Z. And a vowel. I. Uh, another vowel. U. A consonant. N. Another consonant. L. Another consonant. S. A vowel. E. Another vowel. I. And a consonant, thanks. And last letter, M. Here's the clock. wasn't a very promising start, Bonnie, but uh, how did you go after that? I got a five. A five? Colin? A uh, six. Let's start with your five, Bonnie. A mines. Could you spell it for us? M-I-N-E-S. Thank you. Colin? Uh, muesli. Well, I'm feeling inclined towards breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great word. A very hard word to see, in fact. You did well. Good spot. And uh, the one that I did find here, and it's, uh, it's a seven, it's a French word, and it's milieus. M-I-L-I-E-U-S, meaning uh, environments or habitats. Nice find as well. But well done to Colin. Six points. Let's see what we can get in the next mix of letters. And uh, Colin, could you choose them for us? And can I have a consonant, please? Thanks, Colin. R. And another one, please. N. And a vowel, please. A. And a consonant. C. And a vowel. O. And another vowel. E. And a consonant. T. And a consonant, please. P. And a final vowel, please. And lastly, I. Thanks, Lily. Time starts now.
What did you get? Um, I managed to get an eight. An eight? Sounds great. Bonnie? A uh, possible nine. A possible nine. Sounds even greater, but let's go with the eight first, Colin. A uh, reaction? Reaction is good, and let's see what the reaction is to your nine, Bonnie. It is... Um, captioner? Captioner. Ooh, that's a good risky play, but we like some risk. Caption, captioner, caption, a heading or title. I'm sorry, Bonnie, there's no captioner. Uh, well worth the risk. Um, taking us back to reaction, which is a good eight. Also an anagram of, uh, of creation, of course. Uh, I loathe watching your reaction here, Bonnie, because the word that I did find is a nine, and it's a legal term, and that is recaption. Oh, that is a bittersweet nine, but... Uh... Well found. It is. It's a bittersweet nine. It's uh, the remedy of retaking one's goods without breach of the peace. It's a, one of those terms that does crop up because of this uh, letter combination. It's... I'm sorry. You I'm... can't apologise for a nine. It's a great <laughs> find, David. It's... But uh, bad luck for Bonnie, but a solid eight points for Colin. Let's leave the stormy waters of letters and turn to the numbers now. And, uh, Bonnie, what would you like this time? Can I have two large and four small, please, Lily? Thanks, Bonnie. Two large and four small. And starting with the small, eight, one, two, four, and the two large, 175. The target to reach is 107. Let's head there. <laughs> Sometimes 30 seconds uh, is not long enough, and sometimes 30 seconds can seem like an eternity. I think we had a lot more time than we needed there. Uh, Bonnie, did you get to the target? Yes. And you, Colin, too? Yes. Okay, Bonnie, you chose the number, so uh, let's go on that quick journey. Okay, I did 100. 100 plus 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 107. Well done. That was uh, right on the target, not surprisingly. Colin, you used the same method. You're heading over for verification there. Well done, both of them. Um, I suppose there are other ways of getting there, maybe. Well, actually, I did 100 plus 8 minus 1. Yes, <laughs> another variation on the theme, yeah. but no doubt about the destination. And no doubt about the scores for Colin and Bonnie, 10 points each. So Bonnie's now on 33, Colin's on 47. As we head for another break and another word mix, of course, for you. This time it's Tim's Unit. And the clue, is that my ear ringing? See you soon.